earthquakes that happened and two that were were pretty large so my heartfelt uh, thoughts go out to those um, who have lost so much in Italy due to the earthquake today. I spent a lot of time because I lived in Italy and I was in that specific area that it happened. So I, my uh, thoughts and prayers go out and extended um, thoughts also to the people of Burma who are also suffering from this devastation of today's earthquake. You know, unfortunately, I did speak about the volatile fire monkey uh, year of these catastrophic events that would be happening at my annual talk at the beginning of the year. And I'm really sorry that my predictions come true. This is the time where it was like, darn it, she missed the mark. So, but this time, um, unfortunately, when you see, you know, this repeatable pattern, we know over and over again, when we see a fire on top and a monkey on the bottom, we're gonna have some volatility. So, uh, and then uh, I, at the beginning of this month, uh, on an earlier show, I talked about uh, the double fire monkey of the fire monkey year, fire monkey month. And I was so compelled because it's such a strong energy this month, I did a little video on um, how this fire monkey is going to be affecting your astrology. So you may want to check that out. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Kathleen Zemanski, and um, just look up the little video that's called What's the Monkey Up To Now? Because it's just five minutes, but you may get some benefit from that. Okay, so now it's time for my weekly business astrology feng shui and timing tip. So today we talked a lot about the exciting process of launching a product from conception to marketplace and all of the things that we, you know, that, that need to happen all the, all along the way. So it's defining your goal, that product or service that you want to launch, that communication with teams, getting funded if that's in the process as well, and then that important launch date. So you do all of your due diligence, follow all of the business protocol, why not use the powerful secret weapon that I call your competitive edge and incorporate classical feng shui? So today's topic really begs to talk about the Time Blazer business management system. The Time Blazer is based on the ancient wisdom of in, that's embedded in the Chinese calendar and that it's used to strategically in ancient times to conquer dynasties and for ultimate power. Actually, it's kind of used that way today as well, but the time blazer is going to guide you on things like, does a certain day that you choose help your endeavors or harm them? Or does that date make you money or stop the flow? Or are you going to be boosting your marketing uh, efforts or are you going to harm it? So selecting a good day to do the right action is, is really like having superpowers. I have my little cape on all the time when I feel like I'm choosing a good date. So, you know, this is widely used today in commerce, forging partnerships and joint ventures around the world. And so why not have access to it as well? So classical feng shui is based on a person's astrology. We're always looking at person, space, and time. And so we're, we're looking at what type of opportunities are available. That's why we're looking at a person's astrology. And then with that information, a classical feng shui consultant is gonna help ampl amplify someone's fortunes by having the occupant use the most vibrant areas of an office. So, you know, positioning key people like the C's, you know, the CEOs, the CFOs, et cetera, in using the most auspicious areas, they're gonna be more efficient, more productive, and more profitable. So that's kind of one of the key is. So, you know, here's where it gets super exciting. So a lot of people may know about the astrology piece and the feng shui piece, but when a company starts a, proje a project and they're using the time blazer or a timing system of uh, auspicious timing, this is where we can really level up the game. So when you're beginning the process of pulling together your teams, your materials, and starting to work on the project using a good day, like an initiate day, that's going to get your project off to a solid foundation. So in last week's episode, I talked about all the 12 different values, you know, like initiate and success and destruction days. So you may want to go back and listen to that as a refresher um, on the replay. But you know, going forward, like, you know, we're using the, the example of a, a company bringing their product to, to fruition, then we're going to reverse engineer the entire process, the entire scope of the project um, from conception and all, you know, all of your marketing plans all the way through and using auspicious dates from the start all the way to the finish. So thereby you're going to be boosting the energy of the project and the end result um, because you're, you're using this embedded code, if you will, um, that's uh, in, your, in your programming of the, of the product, if you will. So one of the most critical pieces of any launch, beside it being a great product, is that you need to make sure that it hits the market on the right day. 
And I'm telling you, I can't tell you how many times it saddens me to see companies put all of their efforts into a fantastic product or service and then it falls flat in the marketplace. Because unknowingly, because I check these things, when things come out, I always look at you know how it's, how it's uh, performing in the stock market, et cetera. Is it performing? And, and what day did they choose? And nine times out of 10, it's an unstable day. And it's, it's, really, um, it's really sad that, that, that they just didn't take that one extra step. So, but my cl savvy clients, they, they know that if they're launching, they're gonna have a good date to help them um, have a better chance. So let's face it, there's a lot of competition out there. So why not use the universal guiding principles like classical feng shui when it's really there for your asking. So, you know, this is how it's done. We're using the birth date of a key player or players. We match the business astrology with the date that holds the end result we wanna accomplish. So most companies that I work with, they're looking at their P&Ls and they're going for the highest profit. Although I work with companies that, you know, they just want awareness, but typically it's show me the money. So the key is having the patience to wait for the right day and time. Cause a lot of people it's like, it's done. We got to get it to market. Really that's the golden key. There is waiting for the right time that matches you and the product and the, the end result that you want, which is most likely, um, you know, successful launch and money. So, um, I'm giving, um, you know, my listeners a, you know, a free copy of the month at a glance. This is, you know, just the, the front page of it. There's a lot of, you know, intricacies that are in it, but this will at least help you um, at least see some of the good days. So you can get that at bit.ly forward slash free month at a glance to receive your monthly um, month at a glance there. So if you're gonna be launching a product, try to use an auspicious date to do that. Well, that's it for today. I'd like to thank you all for listening around the world. Tune in next week for another exciting episode on Illuminating Feng Shui. We're gonna be chatting with executive coach Johanna Lyman on corporate burnout. Looks like we got some more fire monkey stuff here. So until next week, may good chi follow. <music>